I love chocolate. It's made me the round man I am today. Andrew Marsh is the chef, owner, proprietor, and more of Unique Confections. I do everything, um, and I, from washing the windows to making everything that you can see, anything edible in the shop I make on a weekly, if not daily basis. And since he opened in January of 2011, the reaction from the community has been wonderful. I have spoiled people on chocolate. Um, I, I have people come to me all the time and say, oh, I don't want to die, but I don't want this one. I want your chocolate because I use real chocolate. I don't have preservatives in anything that I do, so. I had to ask Andrew the obvious question, what makes his chocolate, if you'll pardon the pun, unique? A lot of my flavors and some of the stuff I'm willing to do, um, and I use a lot of different kinds of chocolates. I have 20 or 30 different kinds that I'll mix together and have my own creations that way. Um, I've made stuff as crazy as garlic and pickle truffles. Um, and I figure if I can make pickle and chocolate taste good, I can make anything taste good. You get a fine sensory feel of chocolate walking through the door at Unique Confections. And to anyone who does the research, you'll realize making chocolate is both a science and an art. There's an exactness to creating it. It can get extremely molecular. You know, molecular gastronomy is really what they call it. In regular terms, it means Andrew creates an amazing array of chocolate, and one of his most popular products is toffee. I have a huge toffee selection. Um, it's an English butternut toffee with whatever kind of chocolate you want on it, pecans or walnuts or peanuts or you know, crazy nurdles, my own crazy creation of stuff that I put on it, um, or and peanut brittle. Those two things, if you come in, I recommend to have those. You know, truffles are a specialty thing I do, um, and they're nice, but I, I can eat myself to death in peanut brittle, and I have several times, so. The turtle truffles mm -hmm. with the bacon. There's nothing I've tried that I don't like. It's homemade, it's not gritty, it's not mushy. Andrew has already been receiving orders for the holidays for the past few months. For Thanksgiving, I, I do pies, and I do any pie. Um, I have people that have been coming to me for years and say, I want 15 pies, I want 15 different pies. <laughs> like lemon chess and blueberry rhubarb and this and this, and it just goes on and on. So I'm willing to make anything. And then for Christmas, my main specialty is uh, handmade candy canes um, and Aunt Bill's brown candy. This is sunflower seed griddle. It's one of my more unique griddles. Andrew's chocolate is handcrafted, and he knows every single thing that goes into it. And the time, the effort, the love, and the passion that it takes to do it. Um, when it comes down to the raw basics of what the difference between Hershey's and mine is, um, it, it, it's actually really minute on the chocolate level. They come from. They both come from South Africa. They're both stored in the same, they're both crystallized the same, both roasted the same. Mine's just the time I take to put into it instead of a machine doing it. Andrew, the master chocolatier, knows how to temper chocolate in just the right way. And like an artist, he can boast of many masterpieces, but he does like to experiment on occasion. I really have to say it's hard to say for me because it's so different on what I'm making. If I'm experimenting with butter or sugar or chocolate or fruits or proteins, acids, and trying to combine them. I mean, it, it, sometimes I'm spot on. I have truffles that I came up with on the spot and they're beautiful. I never have to touch them, they're 100%. And then I have stuff that I've thrown away in the gallons <laughs> until I got right. 